What is up guys, it's Jay here, JMedia1, and we are back with another product tech review. Today we got the BRG for AirPods 3 case cover for 2021. So we got the new AirPods, right? And we need something to protect them, we need something to keep them safe. So this is going to be a review on taking care of your AirPods. So this is a soft silicone shock, shock absorbing case. It's got the keychain for the AirPods third generation and it also allows the front LED to be visible. So today we're just going to do an unboxing here. We're going to check them out. So this is how they come. They just come in this plastic case. Nothing too fancy. Um, the cool thing that I like about these is that they do have the keychain feature which a lot of the silicone cases don't have surprisingly. I'm going to pop it open here. A little bit of reading material, but it does say that this does have a lifetime warranty if you register it, so we will definitely be doing that. Um, nothing here, you just got the top, the bottom, you got the little key ring, it comes with a, a little carabiner, which is nice. Not super high quality, feels a little cheap, but should do the job. Comes with a little key ring, and then this is all molded together, so you can see that the top and the bottom and the sides everything is molded together there's a little flap here so that it does protect the charging port and this is going to be the little area where the lanyard goes on and then you got your top cover here and then there's a little hole you can see that it's a tiny little hole there so that that will allow the LED to shine through there's also a little slit here on the front and I think that slit will help along with this slit here if you put it together you can see that better those two slits will allow you to, to pop it open a little bit easier so we do have the airpods if you guys haven't seen the review yet for my new airpods check it out at the link above we're going to leave that there for you so here's the airpods in their case and this is a nice case but my biggest thing with the airpods is being able to uh, is losing them right because everybody seems to lose these things so we don't want that to happen so we got this case mainly for keeping track of them so I'm just going to attach this to my keys so what you do is you just slide it in here like this straight down and then if you notice on the side there is a point where the lid will make contact it doesn't quite sit perfectly flush I'm going to try to pull that side up a little bit more. It's pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And then we're going to shut the top, and then we're just going to push this down. You can see a small gap inside of there. I think over time it'll kind of conform to it. And if you keep kind of pressing down on it, kind of trying to get it to mold over top, I think it'll be just fine. This part on the back is nice because a lot of the cases don't have this and this is going to allow it to uh, to protect this hinge. There's also a little space here where you can see a little power looking button. That's your connect button if you ever have to repair these things so that's nice to have. And then there's the, the front port which I said you can see the hole and you can see the light. Uh, mine need charged so it's turning orange so you can see that. It doesn't it doesn't feel too bad. The top is more concerning than the bottom, honestly, and that's just to make sure that it stays. Um, some of these things you have to pry off once you get them on there, and it does help if you you clean the case a little bit, um, you know, before you apply it. So these are specifically designed for third generation. They're not for any other AirPods, and that's just because the case um, has changed, right? So AirPods first generation, second generation Pro will not work with this. They say it has superior protection. It's made of a soft silicone material to provide maximum protection for your AirPods against drops, scratches, bumps. Also the dustproof plug designed at the bottom, which we can see here, which is really nice because you don't see this on a lot of them, right? So this is super nice. It looks like it's going to be a little bit tricky to kind of get out of there. It's it's not easy. You gotta kind of force it to get it out, but it's worth it for that extra bit of protection. It does kind of pop in and out of there, so it's not super snug, but uh, it's better than nothing, right? 
So the dust proof plug at the bottom keeps the inside of the charging port clean. It's compatible with wireless charging also so you don't have to worry about if you're trying to wirelessly charge these things if they're going to work. The only concern with that is going to be the MagSafe. It's probably not going to work too well with MagSafe just because of that little extra flap here on the back. So that little extra flap is going to create a little bit of problems. Um, you don't have to remove the cover for that so that's good. The LED light will display when charging so you will be able to see it. Um, they've equipped the AirPods with a metal carabiner for easy carrying which can be fixed on a handbag or backpack so you don't have to worry about losing it and that's the main reason that, uh, that we're going with this one. So if you look you got this little tiny ring here. I do not have nails but if you can get this to pull out it's going to be tricky for me. If you get that to pull out far enough, you can slide that little ring inside of there. And there we go. So It doesn't feel like it's going to rip or anything like that. Um, if you tugged on this hard enough, obviously it would rip. Because this metal ring is not that thick. So getting a thicker metal ring might not be a bad idea or just attaching the carabiner directly itself. I think is also a possibility. I think it will fit in this hole. Yeah, it fits in that hole. So you can attach it just like that as well. Maybe better, just because being thicker like that won't cause it to pull so much on the silicone. But uh, either way, you attach it to your keys and you should be good to go. You don't have to worry about losing them. But nowadays, we got so many things on our keys. Most uh, key fobs nowadays have uh, you know, the big giant fobs, so this shouldn't bother anybody to have this on their keys. Um, other than that, guys, I think it's a pretty good investment for anybody that's got AirPods, just because the cost on this is super cheap. And being as cheap as it is, um, it allows you to protect your $180 AirPods, and you don't have to worry about losing them as often or as much, and maybe not at all, you know. I have an air tag attached to my keys so I don't lose my keys. So if I keep this with my keys and my air tag, then I don't have to worry too much about losing either one of those. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button, click on the subscribe, and we will be back with some more product tech reviews, guys. We got a we got a few people that are hitting us up about some sponsorships. So we're probably gonna jump on that bandwagon just so we can get more reviews out to you guys. Alright guys. Have a great day. Later, guys.